Hey, my good people. Yes, I'm back again. If you have not already liked and subscribed to this channel, please do because it's absolutely free. So I just want to jump on because a couple of things have happened and um, I tend to forget when I go to me days, right? So one of the things that happened um, while Kwani was on live, her eldest child came in and she was all hype about her hair. So I guess it was just like Exposed People Thursday because she was on her daughter's live, uh, Kwani's daughter's live. And she was like, uh, Kwani was saying something to her about not doing the dishes or something the night before. And she was saying that Duke and Shari was up smoking. Well, it was high that night and was up eating. And I'm, and then she's like, no, they don't smoke. They don't smoke. Don't sit up here and lie. And Duke is, no, Darion's like, you need to mind your business. And then he was telling her she needs to leave. How is he going to tell her she needs to leave her mother's house? Maybe you should go home. But <laughs> that was just weird to me that he felt like it was his place to tell her that she needs to leave. But it was just funny because you could hear Kwani like, why would you say that while she's on live? They do not smoke. Now, there are some other people who smoke that I know get high, but they do not smoke. Girl, if it's them or somebody else, stop being weird. Like, <laughs> And Duke has already insinuated to him and how he behaves when he's, when he's under the influence. So it's just really funny to me that Kwani took that position and was telling her daughter to be quiet and all the rest of that. It was like, girl. But not only that, she went... <clears throat> And um, she went to the ER the day before, I believe it was, and she really wasn't talking about it. So today she went on to address it. She was saying that she took some um, diet pills, and I guess that made her blood pressure go up. And I'm like, okay, could have been. But it also could be the way that you're eating, like every single meal. And she eats three times a day, it seems, you know. And she said that she likes, she said that she likes to snack. So that could have something to do with your blood pressure. Like you're getting older, things start happening. You got to drink more water, which she says she does. I don't know, but it was just interesting to me because she was like, yeah, and I will be back blocking people. So if anybody comes on here asking me, you know, um, <clears throat> or saying something about the way I'm eating and my blood pressure, I will be blocking you. This is the thing that I don't get when it comes to muffin, trees, quani. Um, kicking it with Coco, which I'm going to talk about in just a minute. Y'all get on here. Y'all tell us unnecessary stuff. Like she did not have to come on her live and discuss her head hurting or having to go to the ER. She could have simply said, all right, y'all, I'll be back later. Ended her live and went on with her life. And nobody would have known. But you did all of that for clicks and views. So you got them. And now people are all involved, like emotionally, because they've been watching you. And now you're mad because they're commenting. Like, I just don't understand that. Like, okay, there's some people, you know, like on my last video, you know, they have whatever to say. I don't block them as long as you're not being like crazy. I don't care. Say, talk your stuff. Listen, every time you comment, you just throw me back into the algorithm. <laughs> every time you like, every time you comment. I'm not mad at you for that. That's the nature of this game. Like, okay, they're bloggers, so they show their life. I'm a reaction channel, so I give it to them. If I see something, good or bad, you know, if it's good, then we talk about it. If it's bad, we talk about it. That's the nature of me. And then I know that it's the nature of people watching to either say I agree or I disagree. And there's people who like me or, you know, they they like my, my commentary, but they don't like something I said and they say it. And I respect that. Like, I don't know. I just, you can't be sensitive doing this. Oh, and Peaches, let me add her to the list. You can't be sensitive doing this. Like, you can't be like, oh, yeah, watch me for views. I need the money. And then get mad because people are watching you. So anyway, um, what's her name? Muffin. She, was, she jumped on, you know, again, she had to defend herself, you know, about her daughter saying that she had um, left her at the train station. And she wants y'all to know that she did not leave her. She had to go to Walmart and get a wax. <laughs> so she had time for that. She had... And then she's on there talking about how she teaches her kids. Well, she's speaking about Breeze, I think. She was like, you know, we don't do those little like pet names for your 
what everybody else would call like their private areas. She knows that those are TI, you know, the TI, and that that's your cooch, you know, cooch, you know, and then that's your butt, okay? She said that she doesn't do pet names, but those are not the technical <laughs> words for those areas. It's breast, vagina. Okay, you can say butt. But, so you'd rather teach her the raunchy words, the inappropriate words. Who wants their child walking around at five talking about titties? Excuse me, y'all. I'm sorry, but that's what she said. Who wants their five-year-old? What? So you don't think they should say private area, but you think it's okay for her to say titties or or the coo, you know. Huh? I can't make this up. And the more she talks, I'm like, how in the world do you have five kids and you still have? <laughs> how? Like, and then Coco jumps on live and she's all telling us about how uh, um, Lee was at the door. It's like early in the morning and she's filming him. Why do y'all do this? And then she turned around and was like telling people to mind their business. And if she wants to go back to Lee, she can. And, you know, huh? Girl, you took it upon yourself at early in the morning o'clock to film this man at your door. He's acting a fool. You're telling him to leave. He's not wanting to leave. The people who really follow you and rock with you were probably concerned. So if they're commenting... Like, that's what you wanted. That was the whole point of you jumping in front of the camera. Oh, so weird. And then Peaches gets on and she wants y'all to know that's her husband. And y'all mind y'all business. Even though she put y'all all up in her business. She put you all up in her meltdown and her almost divorce. And her not wanting to accept his other kids. She put y'all in that, but y'all mind y'all business. <laughs> Isn't that odd, y'all? Like, I could see if she jumped on here. Like, okay, let's say she was a reaction channel and then somebody was being nosy and they went and found out all of these things about her. Okay, then I could see her being like, okay, that's none of your business. Like, I didn't put that out there. But she, we know because she told us. And then she gets mad because y'all know. And people talking about it. So odd. And why do people, oh, oh, Therese, <laughs> really quick. Therese wants y'all to know that, you know, when she took Molly, she lost a lot of weight. So she, she approves of that. She stamped it on her live. I said, you got a huge, you got 1.4 million people that could potentially be watching you. And you're telling them if they want weight loss to go that route. You don't see how that could maybe be a potential like lawsuit or. <sighs> And then while she's getting waxed, she passed gas. Okay. And I'm sitting here like, how old are you? You can't be that ghetto and that thirsty for views. I feel like she did it. She knew she had to do it and she did it because she wanted that video to go viral. You can't be that thirsty. Can't be. All right, y'all. If I see anything else, you know, I'm gonna come back on here. Have a great one. Bye.